the Nigeria Television Authority, NGA, presents the 13-part groundbreaking documentary series, Seeing is Believing. A production of Nasrallah State Government, Ministry of Information, Culture and Tourism. Don't miss this unique chronicle. See the vision of His Excellency Umbu Chalako El Makura for Nasrallah State Unraveled. In the documentary series, See is Believing. I have always said Nasrallah State is a state in a hurry. Directed by Zoom Award winning film director Yakub Dabai. Every Saturday, 7 30 pm to 8 pm on NTA. Don't miss Seeing is Believing. so much discrimination against people that are less privileged. I would want us to reflect in our minds to ensure that we promote an inclusive society, including the women, the vulnerable, the people that are in real poverty, people living with disabilities. Building that school, and Makura has clearly told the whole world that he wants people with disability to acquire the basic education that will give them an opportunity to contribute to what nation they need. In the year 2011, and for the very first time in Nigerian politics, an ordinary citizen stood against all odds to defeat a sitting governor. His name was Umarutanko Almakura. Incidentally, and unknown to most Nigerians, Umarutanko Almakura entered the race to become governor of Nasra State in 2011 as a person living with the disability of deafness in both ears.
I was just about 37 years while being the State Secretary of NRC. And it was just about two months before the primaries. And virtually everyone within the party fold wanted me to contest for government. That was in 1990. And just about a month before the uh, primaries, I fell sick. And I lost my first child, all because of that sickness. Uh, I, I became hearing impaired. Uh, if you can put it in a simple term, I became deaf. My second son became deaf at the same time because we had typhoid fever. And the kind of medication and the gravity of the, 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 the sickness has affected our nerves. And that was the end of my aspiration for the office of governor in 1990. And I remained deaf, profoundly deaf, for about 20 years. I had to use mechanical devices, uh, hearing aid, cochlear implant, to be able to uh, perceive sound. I had not been working, I've been an entrepreneur. And when I go to see for contract, some people will just look at me when they talk and I cannot hear very well someone will say, what can this death do? He's looking for a job of about five million or 10 million. And he cannot hear when you talk. And not to them, the hearing is not the capacity. And the capacity and ability of someone is in his intellect in his sense of industry, getting away from activities that would give me embarrassment, would give me worries of people trying to size whether my disability has anything to do with my competence. I decided to pursue a vocation that has nothing to do with uh, getting people to, to, to fend for you or to sympathize. I just went straight on uh, real estate business, which is something that uh, my family uh, is cognizant of. I've been in Abuja ever since then, doing my business without going to any office, with any briefcase to seek for any contract, or build houses, rent them, sell them, not only in Nigeria, but even, 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 even beyond. Uh, however, uh, that did not quench my desire and commitment to seek for positive change for myself. God in his own way delayed my success or achievement of that aspiration from 1990 to 2011, mm -hmm. a period of about 21 years. So you can see, like the saying goes, God's time mm -hmm. is the best. Mm -hmm. On assuming office as governor of Nasrao State in 2011, the very first set of visitors to come calling on Umarutanko Almakura were naturally members of the Joint National Association of People Living with Disabilities. We are here to assure your excellency that at all times we shall always be with him to support and give whatever advice request required of us. We want to ensure that this administration of Your Excellency is going to be the very best in Nigeria. People living with a disability are on trial. And I will be the guinea pig. However way, I dispense my responsibility with the time to a large extent how people start giving confidence or otherwise to people with disability. I would like to assure Mr. President that I will be a worthy ambassador of people with disability. From May 29 to 2011, when Umaru Tanko Almakura ascended the saddle of leadership, he set about putting into action the most comprehensive practical measures that will improve the lives of people living with disabilities. You see, I have traveled across the country and I've seen the pressure on our people. It is easy for the followership to be mobilized, to be, you know, to action, to doing certain things. It's difficult for the elites to 
be part of the process of uh, even changing anything at the, at the beginning because we always argue. So what I have seen Tango Almakura do is working with the people at the really ordinary level, mobilizing them to action so they understand what he is doing in the provision of basic services. Uh, you will recall that at the time his Excellency assumed the office of the Governor of Nassau State. He came in amidst a lot of challenges. We had uh, sectoral and ethnic disturbances, but within the space of four years in his first tenure, he was able to put all those under control. And that is because of his openness and his ability to accommodate every person, every citizen of the state, irrespective of religious or ethnic uh, inclinations. He began by upgrading all schools in Nasrao State, which offer special education and cater exclusively to people living with disabilities. also pronounced the provision of automatic employment for all persons living with disability. And he also made it a policy of Nasrallah state government to grant free education from primary to tertiary levels for all persons living with any form of disability. When you look at their rights, uh, the governor has already directed uh, the Ministry of Justice to forward a bill for the establishment of uh, Disability Rights Commission in Nasarawa State, which will take care of the legal rights of people living with disabilities in the state. By 2015, the efforts of Governor Umarutanko Makura to integrate people living with disabilities into the main fabric of society was noticed by the international community and he was asked to deliver the keynote speech at the International Conference on Disabilities which held for the very first time in Nigeria where he re-echoed the clarion call for all levels of government in Nigeria and Nigerians to embrace inclusivity. I was at the first ever International Conference on Disabilities to hold in Nigeria, where Governor Omar Tanko Makura delivered the keynote speech. Now, the central message in his paper was that laws can make it legally binding for society to provide care for people who are living with disabilities. But if we want to create a truly inclusive society, that inclusion must come from our own hearts. That for me defines why Governor Murutanko Makura has taken the choice not to ignore people who are living with disabilities, not to neglect them or their plight, but to take the lead and always be the first person who shows concern compassion and care for people who are living with disabilities.
ensure that certain percentage of the budget of education must be committed to special schools. Now we have three comprehensive special schools in the South one in each sector of the And they are meant not only to provide for the people of the state, but nationwide. And they all have similar facilities, which comprise of various design classrooms that will see different disabilities, hostels, staff quarters, um, halls for training, kitchen, uh, dining, every facility, including health facilities and sporting facilities are provided in all the schools. Importantly also, it will be free. It's a boarding school, it will be free. All children admitted into these schools will not pay any fee. So this is to encourage parents of children living with disabilities to be brought into the mainstream of our education. And in each of these special schools, we are going to accommodate children from nursery, what you call American kindergarten, up to senior secondary school. And whatever is your kind of disability, the school will accept and provide a customized education for you. You go to a blind child, a child with a learning disability, a child with physical disability, and even a child with intellectual disability, what people call Down syndrome. So all my friends on Facebook, when they see Sunday, but they gather, they, they would know it. I was in jail too. When I started feeling some pain in my bone, my spinal cord, and all that, you know, I used to play too much. I play ball, I do this, I climb trees and all that thing. So they thought that maybe I fall from a tree. So they took me to these traditional people. They keep on pressing me. They will use a mortar. The one you pounded them with it, they will, because by that time, something began to appear in my back. With a small bone like that appear in my back. So in their own ignorant way of thinking, those traditional body face, it is I maybe it is a fracture. So they keep on pressing that place, they are forcing it to go back. That's why the situation deteriorated. I could not walk again. Sally was taken to hospital and it was discovered that he had tuberculosis of the bone known as TB spine. I'm very active in student politics. I read psychology. If I'm a grad, do not believe that people with disability can, can transform, can make a world a better place. I'm going to have bothered in them to, to, to give us free school and scholarship. Right on my 200 level, I did not pay a penny for my school fees. Government take care of that. Just five to six years of our government administration, we have able to produce more than, more than 9,000 this thing. Graduate in university and what are we diploma that the government had been giving them free this thing. And um, I, I graduated 2 1, second class open in psychology. Unknown to Sally Birdie, Omar Tankal Makura had noticed his efforts during the campaigns. Although they met only once during the 2015 Day for the Disabled, which was celebrated in Nasra State, and Governor Omar Tankol Makura shook hands with Sally. February 27. Some people started calling me that they had my name on NPS. They have been appointed as partner at the time to of Nasra State. It was, uh, it was, it was one of our, one of the greatest days in my life. From his happy lifestyle in what he says, it was evident that Sally had a sense of self-esteem and self-worth, and he says some of his self-confidence he owes to Governor Umar Tanko Almakura. Even if Almakura did not build, did, did not construct the road, even if Almakura did not build hospital, even if Almakura did not do anything, but for us, people with disability, that school alone, means a lot. If Amakura will build such an edifice for us, if he is in the National Assembly, he will try to facilitate the enactment of the National Disability Act that is pending up to now. 
and we know that the reason why that thing is pending is because you didn't have people like Amakura who have passion for us. That National Disability Act, if people like Amakura are there, I'm telling you it have been history. It will have been history for a very long time. For Sahli Berudi, Governor Umarutanko Al Makura illustrates his personal concern and genuine compassion for the disabled in Nasra State with concrete action. But even as the governor continues to make life meaningful for people living with disabilities in Nasrawa State, as an individual, Sali has to wake up each morning to quietly face his own physical pains and psychological trauma of being a person living with a disability of tuberculosis of the bone. I woke up with this thought that one day I cannot be able to walk. Mm. My recent medical visit to Kano, the Dal Autopathic Hospital, one doctor confirmed it to me. The doctor confirmed it that what I've been thinking is not far from the truth. Because the, 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 the spinal cord, my spinal cord has been severely damaged. And the coverture in my back, that based on what he said, he has never seen it. My own is extremely, you know, it's too bad, that's why he said. His Excellency, the Governor said, said that anything about my hospital, he will handle it. But sometimes I feel shy to confront him and talk to him. I believe in God. I believe that God holds the key to everything about human being. Our life, death, our success, everything. I believe that it is in the hand of God. That for despite my condition, I I I I I, I didn't I didn't put, I didn't allow all these things to minor minor thing to bother me. Yes, I continue with my relationship with my everything as, as a normal person. My name is Peter S. of the Online Theatrical TV. I am feeling more of inspiration to see myself, to find myself in the future. Before I am living at home, doing nothing, but in, in that living in the home, I was doing some little, little teaching of mine, which means that I am teaching myself a little, little art that I can be able to decide I think that is very beautiful. I can design as a cop, as a man, as a whatever. I can draw as a plane. I can draw as a chair. I can draw as a everything. Gold. Sheep. Everything I can draw. My plan in life is that I want to be an architect. My advice is that I will give them an award of encouragement that they should keep. They should not allow and help someone to bring you way them down. They do not bother me about their father or mother, what they are saying to them, whereby, whereby they cannot do the things that they want to do in life. I want to say thank you for him. He being so good to the disabled child. I want to say that. He should keep on doing, no matter how people they are saying that he's not doing right. But there is another way that people see he's doing right. No matter in the world, no matter how working you are, people will criticize you. 
in another way. In another way, they will say that you are doing right. There is a correlation between disability and poverty. You will find a substantial number of people stricken by disability are poor people. So you see, it's double tragedy. This administration has gone through and this step to ensure that people living with disabilities have been taken care of. When you look at the statistics, the most deprived people in Nigeria are people living with disability. Because in the process, discussion of any development, they are not taken into account. He has not only identified with people living with disability, but he has taken practical steps to make sure that he alleviates their suffering. He takes care of everybody, the blind, the deaf, the crippled, and everyone. He celebrated his birthday with leopards and blind men and cripples right inside the town. I've never seen that often. I've never seen that often. of celebrating my 61st birthday in the colony of lepers, in the colony of blind men, cripples and deaf is not only to identify with them but also to give them some kind of encouragement that whatever level of disability you find yourself suffering from that life could be better tomorrow. He didn't bother about the stigma or whatever, you know, say transfer of disease here. Imagine his excellence among lepers. Imagine, you know. So he, I was really touched in my heart. It is instructive to know that His Excellency Umar Tonkwa Mukura, the governor of Nisrao State, sees the issue of people living with disability far beyond the parameters of policies, but more or less a moral and legal issue. He doesn't see government as an avenue to make money, but he sees it as something to offer service to the people. He sees it also as service to God, that the resources are that of God and that you are supposed to manage it. That is why you find that from the very beginning, you he talks about fear of God. So that's what I always tell my colleagues that, look, I'm learning to benefit not only in this life, but even in the hereafter. Because we are learning to fear God, to work for the sake of God, to work as if God is seeing you.